Muggles be warned, after seven books, the popular series is coming to an end, but not without a lot of wand-waving fanfare. At midnight tonight, the long-awaited Harry Potter book goes on sale, and the lines are still forming at this hour. James Sears talked with one man who's been in line since nine. He has more from the newsroom. Hi, James. I, I enjoy that's right. This is the last book in the Harry Potter series. There'll be no more, and the young, old, and in-between all are taking part in this historical event. A steady stream of Potterheads flowed through the Borders Bookstore in South Anchorage this afternoon, eager to get their hands on a ticket to get the book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, later tonight. I gotta know what happens to Harry. So will he live or die? The internet is buzzing with speculation and spoilers. I'm hoping that uh, Ron and Hermione hook up, definitely, which is gonna happen. I'm 18 now and I started when I was 10, and so it's just really cool that it's gone on this long, that it's like so important to so many people. But the book isn't casting its spell on everyone. Oh, well, my dad uh, ordered one, and he's gonna be out of town, so like a good son, he asked me to do wait in line for five hours for him. So. Yeah, hopefully this will pay back for a few years of stuff I own. Security is so tight around this new Harry Potter book that stores can't even show the boxes they're shipped in. So they'll stay here under wraps until midnight. Just be cool to see how it all ends and comes together. Ward is a full-time student off in the summer who's been in line since 9 in the morning with his chair. And though he wishes he had company, he'll stick it out alone. I just want to give myself the best chance to be one of the first to get the book. And despite the late, late hour, these would-be warlocks, sorcerers, and ordinary non-magical muggles say it's worth it. I'm very anxious for this book. I can't wait to read it. I'll be up half the night reading tonight. Once I get my book, I'm going to go home, probably sit up till 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning and read. And for everyone sad about the magic being snuffed out, don't be a moaning myrtle. There are two more movies to look forward to. And you have just under six hours to get to a bookstore, and while you're there waiting for the stroke of 12, there'll be a Grand Hollows Ball and a Midnight Magic Party, and there'll be a costume contest, Ty, so you can break out that fancy cloak with the stars on it that's up in your office. Man, I've been waiting so long oh, to finally break that out. Oh, and it's so attractive. It, didn't you use the bedazzler uh, on it? I don't it? know. I don't know. <laughs> Moaning myrtles and muggles. Oh, yeah. All it's right. Kids to read. That's right. It's a good, it's a good thing. thing. We'll open that up at 12 o'clock tonight. A bit later tonight, ABC Alaska News at 6.